Something I wanted to touch on earlier in the show, kind of going over our takeaways from the Royal Series, was Spencer Torkelson, and his OPS Plus is at 100 right now, which is essentially league average. Um, so 14 home runs, leading the Tigers, had two home runs in the game against the Royals, an unfortunate loss against the Royals. I mean, when the Tigers score 10 runs, you would ideally like to win that game, but that was a tough loss. But, yeah, I mean, Torgelson, 232, slugging over 400. Like I said, OPS is around 725, which is right around league average. So this is what a league average hitter looks like right now in Spencer Torkelson. And I think we can all agree he was probably rushed to the big leagues last year. Probably shouldn't have been on that roster. I think, um, you know, that was a front office that was trying to save their job and uh, rushed him to the big leagues. But, yeah, I mean, Spencer Torkelson, I think – the, the progress has been there, and I think he will get better as the season goes along. And I think when we talked about it in the preseason, uh, 800 OPS, that was like – that was a, a goal for us that he could have. And I think he's getting there, and I'm not saying he's going to get there, but I think he's going to be close. And to see him finally get to league average, I think it is a, is a huge uh, progression for him. And I think a lot of Tigers fans should be happy with what we've seen from Torkelson. I feel like the last few – podcast we've done in a row we've done some sort of spencer turkelson apology tour and i'm not sure why well, um, I, I really, that, but... no it's just i feel like we mentioned spencer turkelson quite a bit about well he's proving people wrong well he's doing what he's supposed to do i i, then I am i missing something i mean yes he was rushed the majors yes he has been most ballyhooed first pick i get it i understand that but he's doing what he's doing now i i just think it should be just not it should be more of a, okay, he's doing what he expected to do. I, I could be wrong. I mean, I, I, you know, like it's just, again, he's doing what he's supposed to do. And I, I, I think there's sometimes with these, I guess with storylines, I think there's, to me, there's more important storylines than that because quite frankly, this was expected of him. He's getting better. I think you can see it. And, you know, let's still, it was one thing he hit the two homers and the double the other night. That was fantastic. But a little thing today. He's up there. McKinstry's on third, one out. Riley Green walked to get to first. So now it's on Torkelson to get that run home, right? And it's 2 nothing. so the game's close. And I've talked about here on the podcast, the Tigers never, ever, ever seem to add on a run, you know, to, to pad the lead. Um, he falls behind 0-2, lickety split. I mean, just boom, boom. And you're thinking, oh, boy, here we go. He really put together a pro at bat there. He he followed off some tough pitches. He took one. Uh, then he hit that deep fly ball. And it was just a, a measly old fly ball, but it got that run home. And to me, that was the kind of at bat where he popped up too often last year and the beginning of this year. And he got the job done on that one. And, and, and you know, that's what a guy in his position has to do. So I, I was – I had a, I, today was an enjoyable day, but that was one of my little tiny moments I probably enjoyed the most. Yeah, and I think – Go ahead. Well, yeah, but I just think like in the totality of the season for a team that's not competing for a title or even competing for the playoffs, you, you kind of follow the development of players. And what Youper has said, I think the most important storylines for this Tigers team is the development of Riley Green and the development of Spencer Torkelson. And I think to see that, uh, including a lot of other positive developments like Jake Rogers, Matt Veerling, Zach McKinstry, Eduardo Rodriguez – uh, even some arms in the bullpen. But I think Riley Green and Spencer Torkelson, to me, they're going to play a big factor in their performance of how this season is looked upon and, and the progression that we've seen, I think, needs to be talked about and, and needs to be appreciated because it's definitely been there. Again, I'm I'm just miffed here because I, I feel like we've talked about Riley Green being the best player on this team for the last two years. I mean, I mean am I imagining things here? Am I – well, it just sucks because Chris is not here because the guy I do the podcast with the most. Um, there's a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, obviously, the, the bullpen was um, stealing my thunder here as we totally get off the segment, but it is what it is. Um, I, I just think that there's Riley Green. We've talked about the progress of Riley Green and how he's – when the Tigers without him were terrible. But, it, again, if you want to make a ballyhoo about Spencer Turkelson – of something that should be a natural progression by all means, but Riley green for what he's doing at his age, he, he was doing this last year. I mean, he struggled towards the end of the year, Grant, but still he got to a good start. I was expecting, 
I was expecting this. I was expecting to be him to be a good hitter because he's been adjust. He made adjustments at every single level. I, I maybe my expectations are different from you guys. I don't know. I'm just I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm doing some sort of weird uh, Groundhog's Day here or something. 